Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? It's night time. You may have noticed. I know you've got quite good observational skills. And we are in downtown Panafos. Not quite in Cato Panafos. No, no. We're on Tomb of the Kings Avenue. That's where we actually are. Over there, if your name's Miss Andrea, well, there's the Colonel. And he's standing to attention right above his little branch called KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. To us older people, we remember it when it was Kentucky Fried Chicken. You say Kentucky Fried Chicken to some of these younger people, and they look at you as if you're nuts. And then they go, no, it's called KFC. Yes, it stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. I remember once, many, 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 many years ago, I had a little bit of a soft spot for Yves Saint Laurent, which is YSL. Anyway, I had a conversation with a son of a friend of mine, and he said, oh, I like your YSL shirt. And I said, Yves Saint Laurent. And he looked at me as if I was completely and utterly nuts which I am. But anyway, he said, what does that mean? And I said, well, that's what YSL stands for. And he went, oh, it's called YSL. I went, well, no, it's actually called Yves Saint Laurent. But anyway, there we go. That's a little history lesson for today. Downtown Paphos, and as you can see, it's ramping up. It's getting quite busy. People are wandering around. They're looking for something to drink, perhaps a tipple or two, or perhaps something to eat, or perhaps even a little bit of karaoke. Because if you're of a barn hawk fame, if you've got a dad and his name's Baron John, you've got a mum and she's called Baroness Louise, that must mean that you are the baby barn hawk and you are called Miss Fern. Well, take a look to the right. There it is, Thomas's Jungle, and it's getting ready for you to serenade the living daylights out of them. Probably the greatest singing voice in the world. Whitney Houston, stand aside. And of course, Harry the Keeper, well, he always goes gooey, gooey-eyed when he sees the love of his life, Baby Fern. Lovely, absolutely spectacular in downtown get a fat force. Here we go. I think the barn hawks have gone to London, by the way. Oh my god, going on, red lights. What's going on? Should have run them over. They look like French people again. And uh, they never subscribe, these Frenchies. You should just run them over. All they think about is, well, croissants and cheese and cowardice and that kind of thing. Right, Paphos Mal is on the left. What's over there to the right? Well, if you go to the right, you'd actually go down the Paphos Harbour. But we're not going to go down there because, uh, well, we're going home. Simple as that. We're going to wiggle and we're going to waggle. We're going to cut through central Paphos. Well, the cusp of central Paphos, so we say. And uh, try and miss the traffic jams. Try and miss the speeding policeman stops and uh, all those kind of things. And if we're lucky, we'll even miss the drug dealers on our way. Because, uh, well, downtown Paphos is a changing, isn't it? There's all sorts of things going on. We've got tourists coming to town, drug dealers coming to town, and, of course, people driving around in old Mercedes called Mr. Paul. He's a bit of a nutcase. We all know that. Anyway, what's going on there? That's Alpha Mega. Alpha Mega Supermarket. If you want a nice gyro, by the way, it's like a kebab. Uh, yes, kebab in the UK, you call it. You pop over there. It's called the Belladonna. Well, you wouldn't know that. It's all in Greek, but I don't even know that. I was told it's called the Belladonna. So we're going to turn right. We're going to wiggle waggle. There's a supermarket in front of us there. I remember giving directions to a Mr. Lee. I think he found it. I'm not sure. I think he did, actually, when he was staying in downtown Universal. And it's probably one of the best supermarkets, fruit markets in Paphos, to be honest. And there it is. Don't ask me to try and say it, because I can't. Track, track, track. Tracky camera, yeah, marketplace. There you go, supermarket. Pop in there, very pleasant staff. I know the manager, well, one of the managers, because obviously there's two or three of them. But uh, I know one of the managers, and his mum owns the Euro shop. If you remember, I may have talked about her in the past and told you she's probably the richest woman in Paphos. She probably is. I've never seen a shop so busy. And it's not a Euro anymore, by the way, it's one Euro 35. But when she started, it was one Euro. Anyway. Let's take a left, because if we keep going down there, you've got a bit of a speed trap and a, a bit of a police stop. They like to stop all the locals for, well, checking for alcohol and drugs and those kind of things. So we don't need to go that way. We don't need to get stopped. Not that I'm drunk, although I might sound it, and not that I'm on drugs, although it might sound like I am. I'm on the odd Valium and those kind of things, and uppers and downers. And the roads around here, by the way, if your name's Lady, uh oh, so, so sweet, Caroline. I mean, one pillar's not enough. I mean, Look at the pot sauce. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know. But feel that, Dizzy Blonde. S-Class Mercedes. Air suspension. And it's getting eaten alive in downtown Paphos. Anyway, let's take a left. 
You're wondering where the hell is he going? Well, slowly but surely, we're working our way to the main road from the police station, the fire station, that takes you back into central Papos. But of course, that's where all the people are whizzing around. So, I'm trying to miss the traffic. And, uh, well, I'm trying to destroy the suspension on the car while we're at it as well. But now and again, if you watch the little channel, what's this guy doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? Don't think he knows what he's doing. Right, he's got an idea now, he's indicated. There we go. He's obviously got lost. Right, let's keep going. We're going to take a right. He's found another shortcut. Or perhaps he's home. There we are. What it is, he missed his home. There you go. See, he was too busy on his mobile phone that he missed the turning for his house, so he had to reverse. There we go. Happens quite common in uh, downtown Paphos, well, all over Cyprus. But people are too busy on their mobile phones or pondering about their Coca Colas that they've just got from McDonald's, wondering if they're going to fall over. Hey, Miss Andrea? Yes, that's what she's thinking. My goodness, has he drunk his Coke yet? Not yet. We're trying to get home quickly. Now, if you're watching, Miss Yvonne, look. Ooh, yes, Rose Gardens. What does that mean? Well, what that means is I'm going to drive straight past your house. Yes. Are you on the balconies, Mr. Steve, with you? You never know. You could be there with a glass of wine or two. You may be. She likes a tipple. She does. She likes a glass of wine. All the way from downtown New York. That's one of the family members. Her name is Miss Sivon. She's got a partner in crime called Mr. Steve, and she loves the Cotswolds. Oh, she does. She loves the Cotswolds, and uh, she's been living in Paphos now for seven years, and uh, so far has not received her residency permits. But hey, there's a lot of people living in Paphos that haven't even got any papers whatsoever. So don't worry about it, Yvonne. You'll be here for the next 50 years, and, uh, and a bit longer. You never know. Right, we are going to join the little road that takes you from the main road down to Universal. If you keep watching, you'll understand. Anyway, on that note, if you're wondering, how does Mr. Paul keep finding the money to keep driving around Paphos? Well, it's all down to you. You guys come on now and again, and, well, you feel sorry for us, and, of course, you treat us to a coffee or two on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Many, many people do it, and we appreciate it, and we thank you very, very much indeed. That dog wants to buy us a coffee. He's getting in contact with Bobo. He's a very, very clever dog indeed. By the way, what are you doing, Mr. Sean? Miss Dawn, are you all right out there? Yeah. Soon you're coming to Paphos, that's for sure. And we're going to get you to Chutki dancing down the downtown Kid of Paphos promenade. Some of the people who've chosen to help us out in the last few days. Well, James Senior, beautiful partner in crime, Miss Fiona and James Junior. They're coming to Paphos very, very soon. They chose to buy us a couple of coffees, and he's never, ever, ever, ever contributed anything to any YouTube channel ever before, apart from a like and a subscribe. We thank you, and we're humbled, and uh, hopefully we'll bump into you next week and get you on camera if you'd like, and we'll say thank you. We'll be somewhere in the promenade and the harbour, that's for sure. Stuart Sherlock. Well, what can we say? Thank you very, very much. This gentleman chose to buy us five coffees. He loves Paphos so much that he wants me to keep driving for the rest of my life. And guess what? I will if you want. No problem. You keep popping the benzene in the tank and I'll keep driving around having a chat or two with you. If we were to go straight there, we'd go past the police station and the fire station. But we're not going that way. We're taking a left and we're heading up to the rear end of the Alpha Mega Supermarket. The supermarket up by the big Limassol roundabout. Okay, so we're actually now running parallel on the right hand side is the dual carriageway road that takes you up from the former Debenhams roundabout up to the Limassol roundabout. We're parallel to it, we literally are. On the left hand side, mainly residential, but at this roundabout up here, if you were to take a left and go for what? About half a mile, so three quarters of a kilometer or thereabouts you would come to the rear of the Paphos Courts. That's where you'd come. And now and again, you might find my superstar, Miss Alistar, hanging around in the background there, having a coffee or two, wondering how the legalities work in downtown Paphos. Bit more relaxed than it is in downtown Krakow, Miss Anna, I promise you that. I like to do a lot of chichorchki dancing, frappe drinking, cigarette drinking, and then normally it's time to go home. 
Yes, yeah, well, there we go. I understand you're a very, very busy lawyer. And on top of that, she's a judge. Yes, she's a judge as well. So she can uh, prosecute me and then try me and then let me off because she loves me and her lover to bits. Of course, she's got a fantastic man in life. And of course, his name is Mr. Thomas. And of course, the future greatest lawyer in the world. And his name is Mr. Bart. Very, very good morning to you. Or as they say in Polish, Dizlin Dobra. Not Dizlin Debra, no, not Dizlin Debra. No, Dizlin Debra. I'm confused already now. Can't say anymore, that's it. That's me done. Where are we? Well, running parallel, as I've said, to the dual carriageway that takes you from the Debenhams roundabout up to the Limassol roundabout. So we've got a good couple of kiosks on this area, by a bit of a residential area, as you can see. And also we're to the rear of the Blue Cross Hospital as well, which means that that is across to McDonald's, which is across to the new Neon Mall. There you go, see? Slowly but surely, you are learning your way around Paphos. So don't forget to keep coming back again and again. When we get to the top of this road, where you can see those car lights in front of us, and those big street lights, we're going to do a bit of a left and a bit of a right and then a bit of a left. And we're going to come out in front of a terrible building. It's a building where you have to go to pay your electricity bill. And electricity bills in Paphos and like Cyprus are quite expensive. It's almost the most expensive place in Europe for an electricity bill, which you're thinking, well, it doesn't sound too bad. Well, it does when you work out that the salaries are amongst the lowest. Don't be listening to what the government tells you. That's a load of rubbish. They talk porcupines all over the world. Average salary in and around Paphos is about 1,200 euros. Average electricity bill is around about 200 euros for two months. Yes, so about 100 euros a month for an average electricity bill. Now I understand if you live like a little mouse and uh, you don't have internet and all those kind of things, you can probably have an electricity bill of only about 80 euros for two months. But most people, they have a bigger bill. My bill's about 300. Oh my goodness, what is going on in our house? I'm convinced that uh, that Mr. Chris, the man with the sponges, he's actually plugged into my electricity. I'm gonna have a word with him tomorrow. Anyway, we bypassed the Limassol roundabout. That's it there on the right-hand side. That's a car dealer called, I don't know, Giros or something like that. It sounds like a pork kebab to me. But anyway, he's a nice enough chap. He's all the way from Greece. And uh, I've had a chat with him once or twice. Don't get on very well because, uh, well, we don't live on the same planet. But never mind. He's a nice enough chap. You just can't do any business with him. Let's keep going. We're in Lower Konya. That's where we are. And we're working our way up. If we keep going, we're going to come to Marathonda, we're going to come to Armu, and if we keep on going, we go to where the gods live. And I mean literally, because if you want to buy a house up in Memphis Hills, that's a golf resort, luxury, hotel and spa, you've got to have a couple of million or more. So, that's where the gods live. Anyway, I'm going to say thanks for watching, and of course, if you do like what you see, why not hit that like, click that subscribe, Perhaps come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. Thanks for watching, and if you like the nighttime videos, well, let us know because I don't mind because in the summer it's too damned hot in the day. Thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you again very, very soon.